Wound closure, simple interrupted. The simple interrupted suture is by far the most common suturing technique used in the emergency department and urgent care settings. Insert the needle into the skin at a 90 degree angle. Using your wrist and the needle curvature, penetrate the dermis and advance the needle through to the opposite side of the wound. Securing the suture is done in multiple layer knots to prevent accidental untying of the knot. First, leave a short suture tail on the free end of the suture. Next, release the needle from the needle driver and rest it in a secure place to reduce the risk of a needle stick injury. Now, position the needle driver directly over and parallel to the wound. There should be a suture tail on either side of the needle driver. The first knot is a surgeon's or double throw knot. To do this, loosely wrap the longer tailed suture twice around the tip of the needle driver. Then, using the needle driver, grasp the tip of the short tail. Pull the short tail through the double loop that you have created until the short tail now points in the opposite direction that it started. This will require crossing your arms. As you tighten the knot, it should lay flat and even along the wound. Alternating single throw ties should subsequently be performed to prevent knot slippage. To do this, again position the needle driver over the wound between the two suture tails. This time, the short and long tails have swapped from their original position. Wrap the long tail around the needle driver only once and use the driver to grasp the short tail. Pull the short tail through the single loop so that it is now positioned in its original location. Continue this for several throws while being careful not to make air knots. As a general rule, you throw in as many knots as the suture number. So, for a 6-0 suture, you would throw 6 knots, which includes the first surgeon's knot. For a 4-0 suture, you would throw 4 knots. When the knots are completed, lift up both suture tails and cut them to a 5-8 to eight millimeter length so that they do not hinder the next suture. Pull the tails off to the side of the wound so that the knot does not become part of the scab during wound healing. One question that frequently arises is, how should I space out the sequential simple interrupted sutures? The answer depends on the location and cosmetic importance of the laceration. For facial lacerations where cosmesis is important, the sutures should be spaced closely at approximately 2 to 3 millimeter intervals. For trunk lacerations, in contrast, the sutures can be 5 to 6 millimeters apart. Another question that arises is, how far from the wound edge should the suture needle puncture the skin? The answer depends on the spacing of the sutures. Generally, if the spacing interval between sutures is designated X, then the needle should puncture the skin X distance away from the wound edge.